Dude, I've See just literally been having like Seinfeld on in the background. Dick. <laughs> it's just so good, man. Yeah. I cannot give it up. Yeah, it's the first of its like, kind. Which character would you be? It, it just holds <clears throat> up. Huh? Which, which character would you be, Josh, from Seinfeld? Would I be? Yeah. It would have to either be Jerry or Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Elaine, just because of the amount of up and downs, and uh, mm-hmm. she's not. You know, Jerry is too uh, even, Steven, mm. and I am not. I would not consider myself an even, Steven. All person. right, I would have said Newman. I'm not crazy enough. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Dang. Just kidding. <laughs> Insult. Just a you piece have of insulted shit. Insulted my honor. He's just a bad person. <laughs> You know what though? I, 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 I empathize with Newman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Working with the Pulse Silver Spoon, the mail just keeps coming in day in day out, and then it's Publishers House Clearing Day, and then the purple, the, the barcode scanner doesn't forgets to work. And then Newman, Newman, he just starts <laughs> going crazy. It never ends. Yeah, like, do people really go postal? Yeah, sometimes. Why is that? Because the mail never stops. <laughs> it just keeps going on and on and on. Then it's publishing clearinghouse day, and the barcode scanner stops to work, and then the back- the packages start to build up. <laughs> Very cool. Who would you be? Uh pff, probably He's Jerry. George. I'm George. You're George. <laughs> I say you're George, man. I don't know just, about that, man. Because I do shit. So I think I'm Jerry. Yeah. Because I do shit. George does shit. He, he just gets away do with uh, doing the bare minimum. Yeah, well, I don't think that's my style. Hmm. I guess I can be a little George. I am still living. We're all parents. a little George. Trust me. <laughs> Everybody's a Everybody's little George. Everybody's just a little George. I see you ordered the same thing as me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. <laughs> Hello. I'm Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is Mr. Steinbrenner. <laughs> you are ruining the Yankees. You are single handedly bringing them down. Hire this man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you ready, you guys? It's episode 259. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us once again for another terrific episode of the FUBAR Show program. But before we get into anything, get your FUBAR Show swag at FUBARshow.com. Find all kinds of items like t-shirts, pillow cushions, mugs, magnets, and stickers in tons of colors and styles. Go to our merch page found at foobarshow.com to check it all out. Next up, click on the link to SoCal Rock Band, The Fallen Electric at the bottom of foobarshow.com for music, tour dates, and merch. Currently recording some new tracks, so stay tuned for some of that. Uh, lastly, Grass Store, everybody. Servicing Southern California, they're the best cannabis delivery service I've ever used, bar none. Go to foobarshow.com, click on our Grass Store banner, just go all the way to the bottom of the website there, and first time users get 30% off of their purchase. Who the hell are you people? Show yourselves because I want to thank you for just sharing or clicking on that banner because there's somehow credits. All of the time. I mean, there's there's lows, you know, where I have to front a lot of the taxes that I pay. But but man, you are fueling a lot of the spirit that is the food bar show. So thanks for doing what you do. Uh, let's see, and I think that's it, man. So without further a foo, uh, episode two hundred and fifty nine. Here we go. <laughs> Martini Studios in Ontario, California. It's the Fubar Show. Hey, what is up, everyone? I am Joe C. I'm Josh. And Steph. Thank you all very much for listening into the Fubar Show. Remember to hit subscribe and be sure to rate, review, and tell a friend like a champ. You can also listen in and get our swag at foobarshow.com. That's f-double-o-bar-show.com. And follow f double bar show on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Join in, drop us a line, and we'll foo it up. 
like a couple of foos ain't that right foos if we have to foo yeah i know it's almost like a chore like do we have to foo it up can we can we have a can we got can we have an oof day a foo a foo oof off day a foof day a foof day a foof foof day foo off day day. i don't like where this is going at all uh this just 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 got it went off the rail i like foof better (laughs) The foof, a foof day. Yeah. A foof day? Nah, but we got to be on because we're actually recording for the next hour and a half. So, uh, ah, ah, clocking ah. in, oh, everybody. Good clocking point. in. That's how that works, huh? Welcome back, man. Thanks for joining us. Um, we got a lot to talk about today on tap. We've got some, uh, well, well we, got, we got some sad news off the top. I wanted to talk about Louis Anderson for a second. Um, and then we're going to get into geeking out. And uh, among some other things with sports and music. But uh, yeah, dude, I don't know what the hell keeps happening with 2022. We just recently had Bob Saget. We had uh, Madden. It seems like every episode we're talking about one of our favorite people in the entertainment industry who are passing away. Foo, it's 2022. <gasps> oh, wait. It's, yeah, here we go. It's- Lift up the fucking mask, foo, Scooby Doo style. <laughs> yeah, dude, we just recently lost. Uh, you know, it's funny because I think back, and you know, I, I, I actually grew up with a lot of Louis Anderson. I don't know if you remember as a kid watching Life with Louis. Life with Louis. I do. I used to watch that all the time. I, I love, love that, show. that show. That that show. That was, I think holds that was up. My first intro mm-hmm. into him. Yeah, and you know what? It had. Uh, you know, you remember the Bernie Mac show? Yeah, I do. You know, it's it was that kind of style where like he's talking to you and, and then they go and, you know, they show you the episode kind of thing. Uh, it was that kind it of style. It was a cartoon, though. It was a cartoon. That's what I liked is that was it was an animated because it was him as a and kid, his, like little brother as kids. And then he played like the dad and the mom, I think. And um, and as and, his, my, and himself as a I kid. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. And himself. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But oh man, it was such a great little show. It was cool because I used to watch that when, like, right before Yu Gi Oh and them came on. I remember it was like on Fox for Kids. Yeah, I think Fox Kids called on Saturday morning cartoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Um, oh man, it was right by uh, C- C- CJ though. and Jamal and uh, and Static yes. Shock. Mm-hmm. I think. Static Shock. Mm-hmm. Unless that was a different that channel, was, that might have been was a WB. Different channel. All right, that, that was WB, but it was around the same time. So I'll let it slide. <laughs> right now, but don't fuck. <laughs> Don't right. fuck up again, dog. All right. You're on thin ice. All right. All right. My bad. My bad. Just, Jesus I'm Christ. Just saying. All right. Well, and most recently, we, we grew to love Louie once again. And by the way, he was the, the host of, uh, of a game show, too, for a little while for Family, Family Feud. Feud. Do you he remember was, him that, yeah. doing that? He was on Family it, Feud. He was on after, I don't know the actor's name, but Al Borland from Home Improvement. He did it for a while. And then it was Louie, I think. Yeah. And yeah, then Steve Harvey. And then now Steve Harvey. And Steve Harvey's kind of carried that torch for, for the longest time, I think, out of any of them. But um yeah, dude. Uh that I mean we just recently saw him in his uh you know Emmy uh winning role uh when he w- when he played uh what was the name? Oh uh, Baskets, Mrs. Baskets on Baskets, Mrs. Baskets. With, uh, with with Galifianakis. Yes. Yeah, let me look that up. Uh is it like Joanne or something? Oh, I don't know. But it's funny because he plays this motherly character and he doesn't even disguise his voice. He's just Louis Anderson. Christine Baskets. <laughs> yeah, and they they just put a wig on him and women's clothing. That's it. That's it. And I mean, he's already always clean shaven. I mean, and they even put a little lipstick and makeup on him too to make him look, you know, feminine. But <laughs> he just, apparently he was just acting like his mom and he just played it perfect. Like this just like motherly character it was perfect for zach galifianakis's character i feel like baskets is such an underrated show it was so funny dude and and fuck you josh for like refusing to watch that show just because that had to do with a clown foo, if i could if i could get over my color of phobia foo, I'd be you don't person. have color of phobia dude I'm, I'm like you foo, don't I'm saying, you not, don't I'm he's not even running dog <laughs> he's not even in the clown costume yeah every episode but yeah yeah but still it's there i know it's in the room Mm-hmm. I know it's like put away mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. It's it's there. It's gonna wake up do, 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 but you know who's Stop. underneath the makeup. <laughs> you already know who he is. Which makes it even scarier. All right, look at this, man. You you stomached all the it movies. Why can't you just watch Baskets for a little while? It, it, it's not even about clowns. Bec- it's so much it's more about than a that. It's about a clown, yeah. Fine, foo, fine. I'll give it a shot. 
I'll give it a shot, and if I don't like it, I'm coming after you, dog. Okay, I coming feel pretty good about that. That's, That's all right. When you come after us, we'll sit you down in the chair and tape your eyes open so you can watch all four seasons. Uh, Clockwork Clock Orange. Orange. <laughs> yeah. We'll give you some milk. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, because you, you're lactose intolerant. That's going to suck. Fucking, fucking kill me, dog. Just put me out of my misery. Why don't you? Yeah. But I mean, I guess uh, this gives us an opportunity to celebrate the life of Louis Anderson. Um, particularly, I wanted to play the clip. I might not play the whole thing because it's rather it's rather long. It's a little over six minutes, so I might cut it. But uh, I wanted to play uh, his first ever appearance on television, which just so happened to have been on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. So it's I love his stand up comedy. It's very self deprecating, like and because he's fat, you know, so he makes fun of himself a lot. But it's so endearing. So so here's that. Okay, thank you, Doc. My next guest. Good. Now, my next guest is named uh, Louis Anderson. He's a comedian. He's making his first appearance on national television. And he's going to be opening tomorrow night in Las Vegas, the new comedy store at the Dunes Hotel. And he'll be there through Sunday night. Would you welcome, please, Louis Anderson? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't stay long. I'm in between meals, so bear with me. <laughs> I was just at McDonald's and all those statistics just changed. So. <laughs> I went shopping today. What's this? One size fits all stuff. <laughs> being in California, being fat, and uh, try to get into this California life. Went to the beach the other day. Every time I'd lay down, people would push me back into the water. <laughs> He's dying. <laughs> and the bums down at the beach always coming up to you, those guys. Hey, buddy, could you help me out with a sandwich? Well, sure. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> of course, what brought me to California was the Olympics. I was uh, tried every event for the Olympics. Uh, tried that pole vault. I drove that sucker right into the ground. <laughs> I did a good thing, though. I straightened out those uneven parallel bars. <laughs> Broad jump, killed her. Pats his face with his... I'm sweating, but if I don't, I'll explode. (laughs) (laughs) My favorite thing is when you go over to someone's house and you're fat, they they overcompensate. Oh, come on in, Louie, and sit down here on this concrete sofa. (laughs) (laughs) Or the reinforced steel lawn furniture. Do what I do, head right for that wicker. <laughs> oh boy. People say, Louis, why do you do those fat jokes? Because if I didn't, you guys would sit out there and go, Do you think he knows he's that big? <laughs> like I woke up one morning, oh no. <laughs> Honey, get in here. <laughs> I am from Minnesota. Any Minnesota? <laughs> Could I get a ride home with you? <laughs> but where would we put them? <laughs> I love Minnesota. We go back every year. It's a great outdoor state. Do a lot of camping. Of course, when I go camping, the bears put their food up in the trees. <laughs> I had a very, I had that very strict Midwestern upbringing, a very strict father, the kind of guy who hates everybody. You know, my dad, we'd be in the family car driving down the street. It's like life with he'd Louis. He'd spot somebody walking down the street that was a little different. Oh, he'd slow that car down. <laughs> Look at that. For crying out loud. Get my rifle. 
<laughs> or he would, he would say things that made no sense to you when you were a kid. He'd be driving, the traffic would get rough. You know, if I was the last person on earth, some moron would turn left in front of me. <laughs> And when he'd say that, too, if I was the last person, you'd always turn to your brother and go, wish he was, don't you? <laughs> My dad, I heard that, damn it. Do you kids want to walk home from here? Well, yeah, it's only a block. <laughs> don't get smart with me. Or I'll drive you ten damn miles and drop you off. <laughs> That's how far I had to walk to school every damn day. And and my brother would chime in, and you didn't have any shoes either, did you, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to get the wrong impression of my father. He never hit us. Carried a gun. <laughs> well, he never shot it. He just called. <laughs> Very effective, also. I loved hassling my parents. I had a younger brother, of course. That's the easiest way. Because you don't have to hit them or anything. You just get up in the morning, you get on to breakfast. You look across the table. You do this. <laughs> you do that, you'll hear this every time. Mom, Louie's looking at me again. <laughs> and you love that because you go, oh, is it against the law to look at people? <laughs> look at mom, does this bother you? <laughs> that smirk. You keep it up, all of a sudden you hear. <laughs> is he home today? <laughs> <laughs> Louie, come out here and take another bow. And yeah, man, that was the start of his career when Johnny Carson told him to do a curtain call and then he reached out and shook his hand. I mean, that's pretty much when Johnny gave you approval back then, that was your, you were set for life. And, uh, you know, yeah. it, it happened with Louie Anderson like this. It happened with Jerry Seinfeld, Drew Carey, uh, it, Ellen DeGeneres, mm -hmm. um, a lot of like great comedians that are still out there today. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to pay some respect to Mr. Louis Anderson. I feel I felt like he was a little bit of a like a dad figure as a kid because of that that, that Life with Louis show. But then most recently, a mother figure as Christine Baskets <laughs> on Baskets. <laughs> Well, uh, Foo, he was gender fluid, Foo. It was brilliant. He's fucking brilliant, dude. He was just such a brilliant guy. And so, uh, so uh, and the, and the other thing I wanted to talk about in the intro before we get into geeking out, I don't know if you guys have heard, but um, some shit went down over in Pennsylvania earlier this week where what? Uh, a, what? a truck crashed and released a hundred lab monkeys. <laughs> A hundred lab monkeys with mm. likely with viruses. So several monkeys escaped following uh, Friday's collision in Pennsylvania. The police there said that, um, I mean, they ended up catching most of them. In fact, by the time this article was written, I believe all but one had been uh, accounted for, which I think also included with like three getting euthanized. <gasps> yeah, there were. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this turn, this took a turn. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what the circumstances were from from what they're saying. I mean, and we can only go by what they're saying is that they were euthanized humanely at least. But I think they were they were carrying like some dangerous shit, like some viruses that they were going to be testing them in some CDC um, quarantine center. So um, that's it, quarantine Pennsylvania. I saw I, I, Raccoon City. That I have, shit. I have, you look. Look at this, Steph. Um, it's it's like a trailer. It's a basic trailer with these like wood kettles in them. You see that? Yeah. How cheap does that look? That doesn't look secure. I mean, I'm not expecting a Brinks truck, but like, if these are some dangerous ass fucking monkeys, you're going to be transporting them some dingy little yeah. trailer like that? It's almost as if they are transporting Amazon boxes. Yes. Like it doesn't look animal friendly at all uh-huh like you can see the the air conditioners on top for airflow right. but the actual crates themselves that looks so what tiny for a monkey jeff bezos mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm just saying man we probably were gonna get like some planet of the ape shit mm -hmm. real soon space monkeys so, they're gonna just launch them into it's the gonna air. start off like outbreak uh-huh you know we're gonna we're gonna have they're gonna call in dustin hoffman um and uh and cuba gooding jr 
and Kevin Spacey. He's going to make his return food from the dead. Oh, shit. And, oh. uh, you know, it's going to happen in, in Pennsylvania. And then it's slowly going to turn into uh, Planet of the Apes. And it's going to be, yeah, the the end credits to the first Planet of the Apes, mm. where you just see everything you spread. You did it. Mm-hmm. You yeah. bastards. You finally did it. You blew it up. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! Um, can you imagine though, man? Just you know, that one monkey that was left out. It was one of those Cibolo monkeys, apparently. So it's one of those tiny oh. ones, like the, the Ace Ventura ones, right? Dude, they're fast. Yeah, they're Little quick as fuck. Capuchin monkeys. Fast as fuck, boy. Oh, fast, fast as fuck. fuck. I don't think you fast know. Fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. So uh, can you imagine just one getting into your yard and just maybe like I, fucking your dog? I, I am. That monkey is trying to now, find. Dude, thanks a lot. Attaching itself to your face and then it comes out your body. That monkey's trying to find the monolith. What the dude. fuck? <laughs> she turns into a xenomorph all of I'm a sudden. I'm just saying, dude, anything can happen at this point. It's coming from a lab. It's we like, don't know anything. Oh, dude, it's hit monkey. Dang foo. I oh, hit monkey, yeah. But but what if you stumble upon one of these monkeys and they talk to you? They're sipping some tea. Imagine. You know, they tell tell you how they escaped. Their harrowing story foo. I mean, foo. It's at Starbucks. I want a monkey. Reading a newspaper. <laughs> reading a newspaper. It's making your coffee. <laughs> it's the barista that got a job. Right? But since, <laughs> he has, since he has fur everywhere, he's just in a giant net. A giant <laughs> hair net. His, what if his only condition to speak to me is that I buy him a latte? Mm-hmm. He's like, you must buy me lattes nonstop. And he Please. misspells your name on the cup. Every time. Every time. In different ways. <laughs> Herbert the monkey? Yeah. Call him her. All right. Herbert. This went, this, this is not going the way I planned. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think, you know, I think now as we record this, they have found said monkey. And the only thing that I can attribute any fuckery happening in 2022 is that that monkey fucked somebody. Or somebody fucked that monkey like Randy fucked the pangolin and started COVID. Every time. <laughs> Dang, COVID strain Omega. Dude, it's over. It's over. It's all over. If I mean, that true, happens. Omega is the last. <clears throat> is is it? Foo. Yeah, is I mean, it? where do you go from there? The regular alphabet? Alpha, beta, foo. Then you start, then you start combining them. Hmm. At that point, it's just like, why? Japanese characters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the kanji characters. <clears throat> yeah. All right, man. Well, I, I think, uh, I think we're done here. Uh, you want you got you guys want to get into geeking out? Mm. Yes, please. All right, let's do it. 